Well, this spring is the first time all DACA students are paying higher college tuition here in Arizona. Nine on your side's Ivan Rodriguez examines the impact on the students and P Pima Community College. 16 states offer in-state tuition to immigrants protected by the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals Program, or DACA, by state legislative action. Arizona, on the other hand, is one of six states that does not give DACA students in-state tuition. So one of the things that made the situation uncertain is there was no clear rule across the U.S., right? Different states and different colleges and universities made their own decisions based upon federal law and their own state's law. Jeff Sylvan is general counsel to Pima Community College. He says this spring is the first semester all DACA students are paying out-of-state tuition since the college began offering in-state tuition in 2013. I believe it was the summer of 2013 the state attorney general's office filed suit against Maricopa Community College seeking a determination from the court what is the correct interpretation of the law. In 2014, at the trial court level in Maricopa, that judge sides with Maricopa Community College. Sylvan says Pima and Maricopa continued offering in-state tuition after that ruling until it was reversed by the Court of Appeals and set in stone by the Arizona Supreme Court. PCC says this decision is the reason less DACA students are enrolling in their college. They say two years ago there were 170 students, this spring 88. And the difference in tuition rates, so at Pima College right now it's $82.50 per credit hour, that's the resident tuition rate, but the non-resident tuition rate is $303 per credit hour, so it's more than three times the cost if you're not a resident. Sylvan says the state Supreme Court left open the possibility of the state legislator amending the law. The only other option for change in Arizona would be through Congress or a federal court decision. Ivan Rodriguez, KGUN 9, on your side.